everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm back with an Ulta haul and this is from their fall haul sale, I believe. And I got a lot of goodies that I'm excited to try out and they were super cheap. So let's begin. First of all, I got two sets of these Ardell Demi Wispies and these multi-packs were 50% off, I believe, or yeah, no. They, yeah, they were like 50% off. So I picked up two of them because you can never have enough of these. These are always, these are my loyal lashes. They always work and it's always good to have some in stock. The next one I picked up is a Physician's Formula Touch of Glow Foundation Nude Wear. And this one is, I don't think it's too new, but the packaging spoke to me and I just wanted to pick it up because I think it was like really cheap. All the Physician's Formula's foundations were super cheap. I've never tried a Physician's Formula foundation, so we'll see if this works. It comes with this cute little brush. Um, I'm probably not going to use this for foundation at least it's like weirdly like it's like hard but this is what the foundation looks like this is the cute little packaging it came with and once again this is natural beige let's just see Ooh, I can hear the spring inside like going oh actually this might work this color might really work actually you can't even see it really on my skin but yeah okay i might have done a right thing with the color but yeah you can't even really see it on my hand so that's pretty cool can't wait to give it a try it doesn't smell too bad so that's always a plus for me because i hate when foundations stink the next thing that i picked up was the makeup revolution luxury baking powder in banana and this is for setting and baking and whatnot which i don't know how to do but i wanted to pick it up so i can give it a shot and this was only like 250 so i thought i would get it just so i can play around and it wouldn't be so wasteful because it's only two bucks and we'll see so it says the natural heat from your body will cook powder over base foundation or concealer giving you a flawless finish i didn't know that's how baking worked but I want to give it a try and see if it'll like set my concealer much better and all that because I feel like my concealers never stay properly but yeah the next thing that I picked up is a NYX HD finishing powder in translucent I don't think this is new either but I wanted to pick it up because it was on super sale and yeah I need more powders to try out. Right now I'm loving my Dermablend little compact one. I used to swear by Dermablend when I was in college, the um, loose powder. That's like the only powder I ever used, but loose powders are so messy and it's hard for me to like put it in my purse and you know, so I picked up the compact version. But anyways, the next thing I picked up is the NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray. I wanted to give this a try because a lot of people have been, um, saying this is amazing so it's really small but if it's worth it I might just keep this as a travel setting spray and that might be worth it next I picked up an LA girl pro concealer in the color pure beige this I couldn't I didn't know what color to get this is my first time getting the um, LA girls concealer even though everyone loves this so I don't know if this will work we'll see whoa that went down the brush really fast yeah this is a little orange and a little I think dark for me it's really orange but yeah this is what it looks like oh actually on camera it looks fine but then on um in per nah, it looks really orange <laughs> But I will give it a shot and then we'll see if it's too dark for my skin tone. And then next I picked up a Revlon lipstick. This is the Ultra HD Gel Lip Color. And I've been wanting to pick these up ever since they came out, but I never did because, I don't know, I have too many lipsticks. This is in the number 710 HD Desert. So this is what the color looks like up close. It's like a pinky nude. Let's see. Sorry if you hear my brother's puppy moving around. He's sleeping in the box that I unpacked everything out of. So, <laughs> it's really cute, but he's making a lot of noise. So, this is what it looks like. It's super pinky. 
not really that nude, but I could definitely see myself wearing this as like an everyday color. It's very natural. Next, I picked up another NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in London. This is one of that I'm repurchasing and it's just a nudie color. It's one of my favorites of all time and I just like ran out. It's a nude color right there. I love this. It's one of my favorites from the Soft Matte Lip Creams. Next, I picked up a NYX Butter Lipstick in the color Daydreaming. And it is this pretty lavender color. Hopefully it's not too light of a lavender because, ooh, so soft and creamy. That's pretty purple. So I think I might be able to wear that because I like wearing purples like all the time, but I haven't found a lavender that's like not ashy lavender, you know what I'm saying? So that's a pretty color. I really like that. So next I got some samples. I'm really upset because I know for sure I picked the fragrance samples because I always do because I have a collection of them and they gave me this weird samples of the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer and the Professional which I have both in deluxe samples and all that stuff so I don't need them but yeah. So the next and last thing that I picked up is the Lorac Mega Pro 4 palette and I'm super excited to have this and because I have all of them so I needed to get the fourth one this is what it looks like it's $59 as you can see in the corner right there so every year they come out with one of these I believe and last year's was really pretty so I hope this year is nice right off the bat I don't know how I feel about this being gold and this being silver this pink is really cute I'm not a pink girl but it's really cute but um why did they mix the metals mm. So let's see what it looks like on the inside. So it comes with the little um, clear thing there. It's got a big mirror, but I'm not gonna blind you guys because the sun is out right now. So really quickly, I'm gonna do some swatches of all of these shades for you guys and hopefully see how I like it. But um, the two top two rows look like they're the matte shades and then the bottom two look like they're shimmery shades. So I'm going to do the mattes first and then get into the shimmery shades. So let's see how they turn out. Okay guys, so I swatched the first 16, I guess, 16 matte shades. And right off the bat, I don't know how I feel. There is so much fallout just trying to do the swatches was so messy and I could just imagine doing this on your eyes like you'd have to shake off a lot off your brush I don't know how I feel about that because I really like the texture of the shades they're so soft but it's just like so soft and powdery they're just like crumbling off but anyways I'm gonna give you guys some close-ups of these matte shades and get into the shimmery shades next so this first white shade is cotton and it is a super super white color like baby powder white this next one is a pinky color in flamingo and it actually looks really nice it's like a cool pink and it looks pretty flamingo-y to me <laughs> this next one is cool taupe and it looks more of like a yellowy beige to me but um yeah interesting name because i feel like when i think of taupe i think of like a brownish color and then cool would be like darker but i guess not the next one is butterscotch and it is another one that's really beigey to me it looks like almost like skin tone color i think it would be nice based on a look um this next one is cedar and it is a brownie color just normal brown this next one is mocha i like this orangey brown that it is it's really nice this next one is denim and it is a pretty light blue color it looks pretty denim-y too actually it looks like jeans this last one in this row is shadow and it is this grayish black color and I guess it's just like you need this in every palette right so the second row starts right here with this light color it's pink peony looks just like cotton but it's just a little more pink um, this next one you can barely see on my skin tone for some reason I guess it's close to my skin tone it's called oat and this next one is light sage and it's really pretty color you can't really see it too well that it is a light green this next color is sugar cookie and i really like it it's like a grayish lavender almost but it's really like silvery this next one is mahogany and it looks kind of like a purpley brown and this next one is black cherry 
oh blackberry <laughs> and it is like a dark purple looks brown on camera but it's a dark purple one um, this next one is spice and it is like really orangey brown there was some extra powder on there and this last one in the second row is dark chocolate and it is a dark blackish grayish I don't really think it's kind of brown these are the matte shades in the first two rows and now let's get into the shimmery shades okay so I've just swatched the bottom two rows which are the 16 shimmery shades and I thought the first two rows were uh, really powdery and had a lot of fallout but this one had way more but the colors are gorgeous so I don't know it's kind of like a hmm anyways let me give you guys some close-ups so this first shimmery shade is called foam and it is this really light color don't know how I feel about that this next one is honey I really like this brownish color really cute this next one is pearl slate and it looks like a mauve kind of color to me this next one is moss and it is this pretty green color it's really nice this next one is called steel wool and it is like this grayish silver color next up we have copper pearl which is gorgeous definitely my top pick out of this palette so far and then this next one is peacock which is probably my second pick out of all of these colors look at this blue it's so beautiful it's so pretty the last color in this row is lagoon and it's this greenish bluish grayish color it's really pretty this next row the first one is unicorn and it's pretty iridescent i feel like it has some iridescent qualities to it it looks like purple in the light and blue in the light this next one is Lotus and it is a pinky color. This next one is Fairy Tale and this is probably my next favorite. It is a gorgeous lavender silvery color. Then this color is Misty Mauve which looks more brownish mauve to me. Doesn't look too mauve, it looks very brown to me. Next we have Silver Fox which is silvery and kind of purpley. Next up is Plum which looks very cute i like that i would definitely use that in a lot of looks and then we have vamp which is a purpley silver color and then last but not least we have raven which is a shimmery blackish grayish color and those are the shimmery shades so i definitely think that all in all I, i'm not too impressed with the palette i do like the color selection i do appreciate it and I do think it's great that there's mattes and shimmery shades, but I don't know, like, it was so messy. I don't know if you guys will be able to see. Like, I've tried to clean it just now, but this peacock color, it's, like, raised up, so it keeps, like, making a mess everywhere in this palette. And I don't know how I feel about that. There's just too much fallout, and I don't know. I feel like the palette is nice, but not worth the 59 bucks. I don't really like it too much. So that is it for my little Ulta fall haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like and subscribe to see more videos. Bye!